Well, good morning, Plan Swift users. Um, it's uh, uh, Saturday morning in North Georgia, so I've got my coffee. Hope you have yours too. This is going to be a short session today. We're going to talk about bookmarks. Oh, that's good. All right. Okay, so your first question is, in plans with what is a bookmark? Well, it's not unlike something you'd have in a physical book. It's basically a place uh, uh, to instantly go back to. Uh, you're marking a view that you need to return, as something you may go, need to go back to more than one time. So a bookmark is really just a saved view. Uh, it can be a portion of a plan, it can be the whole plan, uh, it can include highlighting, and basically anything you want. Once you get that view on the screen, when you create a bookmark, it saves that view. So we're looking at one now. Uh, I called it footing schedule because I need to be able to go back to this schedule for the kind of work that I do. So I'll be going back into it several times. Uh, same way with a detail. There again, it's a saved view. If I zoom all the way out, you can see it's not the whole page. But I needed just to be able to concentrate on that. In this case, I was looking how deep the footer was and how deep the slab was. So I needed I saved that detail as a bookmark. Here's another one. Door schedule. I needed to be able to see the size of the doors. So there again, a view that I saved. Now looking at this, this, is a, this obviously is a window in the Pages Bookmark Navigation pane. And I can size this window uh, up or down, depending on what the size of the, of the window is above it. If it's getting crowded, I can push it down. If I've got more things than I can see, I can bring it up. Keep in mind, at any point, if you get more entries than these windows can show, you're going to get a scroll bar uh, to appear and it will allow you with your mouse wheel to scroll up and down through there. So don't be worried about if you fill these windows up and you're constantly having to resize them. They will expand with scrolling once they do get full. Now another way of finding, let's say you get multiple bookmarks uh, in this and navigating around to them is using the search bar and you can simply type in any keyword in this case, schedule. And what will instantly show up in the filter is any bookmark having that word. So, so we're going to back this back out so we can see all of them and show you how to create your own bookmarks. So let's go to another uh, page we haven't been on that has no bookmarks. Here's for example, let's say I needed to, oh, this wall section, new window opening, uh, is important for me to save. It's got information that I'm going to need to go back to. So. Uh, I'm going to zoom in exactly where I want. And if you have a hard time zooming, it's exactly what you want. Remember, you've got one of your icons under the Home tab is called Zoom. Click on that. It'll allow you to create a window. Watch what I'm doing here. And you get that perfect zoom. Now that I have that perfect zoom, I'm going to go to my Plus icon. And you see that it says New Bookmark. You may not be able to see that on your screen. But it says new bookmark when I highlight it. I'm going to click on that. It brings up a dialog box and allows me to name that. And of course, I can name it anything I want to. Use uh, symbols, use spaces, numbers, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to call this uh, new window detail. All right, now that I've typed that, if I hit enter, it's going to create the bookmark and you'll see it on your list. But there's another feature you want to consider, and that is creating the snapshot. What does the snapshot do for you? The snapshot creates a window, a pop-up window. So when you go back to it, rather than taking you off the whole page, it brings up a pop-up window instead. I like that feature. More times than not, you can see it on the left of my screen. More times than not, I'm creating snapshot. When I do that and hit OK, it goes ahead and brings up that pop-up window we talked about. 
and I can take this window and I run two screens for estimating and I can pull this off on my other screen and it stays there floating around anytime I need it. Uh, I can hit X and close it or simply go back and click on the camera icon and the camera icon is to show you that you've got a snapshot. If you don't see a camera icon then you created it without a snapshot. So I click on that it brings it back up. So um, bookmarks are a great way as you find information when you're going through your plans and you're doing your highlights and your notations and all that other stuff the save views so if you're someone like me that can have basically hundreds of drawings show up when they're um, when you import them the bookmarks can save your butt I mean like oh where was I know I saw a detail in this thing so you can have as many bookmarks as you want you see something of interest make it a bookmark well okay you get to some point when you've got too many bookmarks or actually you've got bookmarks you don't need what do I do about those they're easy to manage if we're going go back to our bookmarks window here we click on any particular bookmark let's say I no longer need this footing schedule and for whatever reason like oh let's say it's been replaced with a new footing schedule that's more likely why you're going to delete a bookmark you've got a new drawing a revised drawing and you've got a new footing schedule and this has changed so I need to delete this one because I'm going to create a new one so easiest way to do that is just to have it highlighted and click on the X which is the delete you'll hear a, a sound most likely on your computer and it's like just like con please confirm that you want to delete this bookmark because if you don't, you, you simply press no and you haven't done anything. So it does ask you to confirm that you want to delete it. And I say yes, and that bookmark is gone. Now keep in mind, the, the bookmark is gone. The page it's on is not gone. It's still available for you to find it. It's just no longer a saved view. What else can we do with this window with the bookmarks? We showed you a minute ago how you can search for a bookmark by just putting in a keyword. But also, like the Pages window, we can manage the sorting view uh, or how you see these bookmarks. By clicking on the up down arrow icon, it brings up a adjust bookmarks order similar to the ones that we saw when we were renaming pages in our last session. There again, you can change the order you can put them up or down. If you've got a large list, you can throw them all to the bottom and you throw them all to the top. You can, you can basically, by holding down the control key, you can tag multiple bookmarks and move them up or down. And like I say, it just work, works just like the pages um, order uh, window. So that's pretty much it for bookmarks. That's, they're easy to create, easy to manage, easy to delete. Remember, it's all about saving something you need. You may need to view again in a window or as an individual page. In our next session, we're going to talk about managing this main window as you see it here and how we can make that even better for navigation. See you next time.